What's up guys, Matt here back with another video and today we're going to look at protecting your screen a little bit more. We got a product called uh, Pro Glass by Mao Cow. Mao Cow. Mao Cow. 0.26 millimeters thick. Pretty thin. It's really thin, but it's it's actually another layer of glass that goes on your phone. So it's like doubling up on the glass protection. Oleophobic coating, not sure what that means. Delicate touch, oh. Whole transparency, good. Uh, silicone, it is a premium tempered, scratch resistant and shatterproof glass. Explosion proof screen. Explosion proof. What, what, really? It also has a defense against oil. So it's not supposed, it's supposed to basically not hold any fingerprints. I don't know. Let's check it out. I'm really curious. So for this one, we actually got it for the um, for the Samsung Galaxy J7. It comes in all different kinds for different models and stuff. But uh, this is what we're using today. They got it for the iPhone and all that. But uh, let's just take a look. Ooh. Okay. Uh, what are these? Some stickers. We've got some wipes. Removes excess dirt. Remove excess dirt. Okay. So we got a, a dry and wet wipe. Uh, looks like a guide sticker. I'm not sure how that works. It's a nice box. It's like a, it's a wooden little nice box. Let's see what's in the envelope. All right. Now I'm kind of, whoa. Oh, okay. So here's, there's two of them. Uh, in each box it comes with two, I guess just in case you screw one up. Uh, that's solid. That's, I think that's glass. That's glass. And then we've got a, a nice microfiber cloth. Awesome. Okay. Let's move that off to the side. I'm not sure what the actual directions are. No big deal. Let's just, uh, let's get to cleaning this thing off. Number one, wet. Let's do the wet. You always gotta start off with wet before you can get to the dry. When was the last time your phone didn't pick up fingerprints? We're about to put, the, put it to the test, see if this thing really does work. Open, open, there we go, wow. So satisfying. Now let's do this carefully. It's working. You see it? It's it's sealing itself. Are you seeing that? Can you guys see that? I don't know if you guys can see it. There we go. Let's get all the bubbles out. We gotta remove all the, uh oh. There's one, one bubble like right, right there. That's not good. This is why it comes with two, okay? <laughs> So I'll, I'll, I'll make, I'll, you know what, I'll perfect it later. Either way, there we go, there we have it. Let's see how responsive it is. Yeah, it's responsive. It, it's just like normal, and it looks fantastic. Okay, so since this is supposed to be scratch proof and fingerprint proof, let's, let's test out the fingerprint. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see the fingerprint, but let's try it. There's no fingerprint, there's no no fingerprints. That's working. Okay, so <clears throat> on to the important test. Let's test the scratch proofness of it. Okay, so I've got a couple of items here that we can use. We're gonna go in steps, okay? First off, we got a butter knife, okay? We got some keys. Who doesn't like to just throw their phone in their pocket, but hey, guess what? You got keys in there too. They're neighbors, but neighbors don't always get along with each other. Keys screw up glass. We got a real Pocket knife. It's a Gerber knife. It's a real knife. I'm a little nervous. Okay. Butter knife. Scratch test one. Can you hear that? Nothing. Not a thing. That's pretty good. Well, that, now that now I just smudged some grease. Test one down. Let's try the keys. You know what? Screw it. Let's try them all. Feels so weird. You're not supposed to do this to screens at all. It's not. Can you hear it? Nothing. 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 Keys. You don't have to worry about keys anymore. This is the real test. It's not the sharpest knife in the world, but it is sharp enough to cut stuff and, and to mess things up. So here we go. It, it, nothing's happening. Nothing. Holy cow. I know what you guys are thinking. You guys are asking yourselves, what happens if a ninja comes in and tries to slash and scratch up your phone? We could test that right now. Right here. Right now. 
<laughs> That's right. We got a ninja machete. And we're going to test it out. And this thing is sharp. Ow. It's sharp. Okay. I have a feeling this is going to scratch it. We'll just... It's not doing anything! What? What? The ninja isn't gonna phase your phone. Your phone can be ninja protected. Wait a minute, what if a hack and slash slasher man from some sort of horror movie like Jason Voorhees or something comes in and wants to not just kill you, but kill your screen on your phone? <laughs> we can test that too. Cause we got an evil machete. <laughs> Don't ask. Don't ask. Not a single scratch. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to... It doesn't get much, much more screen protected than that. This actually works. This actually works. It's gonna not just protect you from butter knives, but it's gonna protect you from your keys, pocket knives, ninjas, horror movie slasher killers. Michael Myers has got nothing on this screen protector. This thing is fantastic. It actually works. I'm loving it, and I'm gonna put the other one on it so it doesn't have any bubbles. But there you go, guys. I'm gonna leave a link down below so you guys can go check it out yourself. So if you ever catch yourself running from Jason Voorhees or a group of ninjas, you might die, but you can die comfortably knowing that your phone is gonna be perfectly safe. And I'm okay with that.